on Except Friday. This, this time it's a serious. Sentence. Well, this time, yes, we got to put our serious face on here. Because this past Friday, as the show was winding down, we got to talking, as of course we sometimes do. And we covered Kyle Kalinske's pathetic attempt to just lie and distort the facts surrounding what he called a Marianne Williamson smear piece. But Kyle, in propping up the Marianne campaign, has, of course, gained some momentum for his channel, which recently crossed the 1 million subscriber mark. And so we got to talking at the end of the show with you guys, as we always kind of hang out at the end, we take questions and things like that. We said, hey, maybe we should pick a candidate. And a certain someone picked up on that video and ran with our musings to make an official announcement. Let's see some video to fill you guys in on what we're talking about here. We got to find a candidate. Yeah, we have to find a candidate. <laughs> we, we, we should, we, we, I'm telling you, I keep saying, man, we got to pull a Pat Paulson and run you. Uh, you know, I was just going to say, not me, although I am old enough. We can run Extra Bulla. What about Extra Bulla? You want to run for president? Extra Bulla for president. Yeah. I think you'd be a great, I think be you'd be a good president. Not only that? would it be fun campaign, but I think you'd actually be a good president. I mean, the good thing about having Joe Biden is, I mean, anybody looks good by comparison. Right? Like, what are you going to do worse? Right. No, no, it wouldn't be any worse. Yeah. I don't know. Extra Bulla doesn't seem like the kind of guy who would throw a phone at a person. No, probably not. Or scream at scream at cancer and AIDS patients. Probably not. <laughs> Anybody looks good by comparison, right? Like, what are you going to do worse? All right, folks. It is now our pleasure and honor to introduce to you the next president of the United States from his campaign headquarters. Extra Bulla, Extra Bulla, Mr. President, Sir, Mr. Future President, Sir. Easy, what's going on? Yo, watch it, watch it, watch, watch it. it. It's too I thought this neighborhood was gentrified. What the hell? Hey, get get on the horn, all right? Sorry, all right, sorry. Right. About yeah, right. what, do you, what, do you, what do you got, Sir Han, Sir Han out there? Jesus yeah. Lord. Well, you know, it's you got to protect the investment back here. You know what I'm saying? Which is also yeah, doubles yeah. as the. Uh, campaign headquarters too right so. yeah no, i'm not absolutely. allowed to go in there unless i i'm not allowed to go in there unless i either give them crack or buy crack so uh that's why i'm out here uh doing this with you guys and i appreciate the endorsement too by the way well it gets great wi-fi not for the kind of facility that it is you're coming through loud and clear but yeah no we're happy to endorse you um we it, think it's, it's very imperative. it's very it's very lincoln-esque you know, it it's is. very, it's yeah, very man exactly. of the, it's that, that is like, it's like a, a, the crack house is the modern day log cabin. I think David Brooks said that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, I think he did write that actually. Um, you know, we think it's very important that there is a primary challenge to President Biden. We think it's really important that the left puts some ideas on the stage. We think it's really important that somebody do that. And I think your platform is fantastic. We have spoken to you. Our politics are pretty much identical. And so I see absolutely no reason not to support you 100% for president in 2024. Of course, it is difficult, as we all know, to challenge an incumbent president. So what is your plan to break through and win this nomination? Well, um, First of all, thanks for having me on this evening. Uh, I, I am wearing Kevlar underneath this, so please don't worry about my okay. safety. Everything okay. is fine here. You look, uh, but it's not going to protect you from a headshot. <laughs> Red dot. Oh no, uh, no, everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's a family show. Uh, well, I, I want to debate Joe Biden. I mean, that's the only way that I'm going to win the nomination, right? And now I know. Well, he owes you a DNC debate. Has, he does owe me a, bait, a debate. And the DNC said they're not going to do debates, but I have a counter proposal for the DNC. Well, uh, he, he owes you that debate because you caught him in a shower with his granddaughter and you didn't say anything about it, right? Well, yeah, there's that too. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't like to be a bragger. Uh, I, I mean, I, I didn't agree not to say anything. No, yeah, that's, that's true. true. Well, I, that's true. 
I th I think what the I think that what the problem is though is that uh they they don't want to finance a debate. I I have a buddy who uh who runs the Chuck E Cheese over here at the Atlantic Terminal here in Brooklyn. Already set up. We just uh we just have to worry about the animatronics. They can't really turn them off, so they kind of might make some noise during the debate. But that might keep Biden up because he tends to be a uh, yeah, somewhat of a sleep. Going. Yeah. yeah, well, I mean, look, I think he should have to debate you. I think it's ridiculous. You know, you're running Definitely. and, you know, everyone who runs is entitled to a debate with the sitting president, obviously. Russell, what's your you, we have uh, we have some prepared questions for you since obviously, you know, we're we're really here to promote your candidacy. Mm -hmm. And so we scripted some questions and we sent them to you. So we're really doing this to promote you. You know, we're on your side here. You know, we expect that in return, all we ask is that you help us get to one million subscribers. That's all we ask for. That's you. all you know, we, we want. want anything That's all we want out you. of this. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. You don't yeah. even have to, to win. I'm here to right, help. you don't have to win. I mean, we I, want you to win. We think it's we really want important. You to win. We think we have a real opportunity here. We have a and, real opportunity. And we here. believe that the entire uh, diaspora of the working class post Bernie movement should pour time and resources into your campaign in order to get us to one million subscribers. So, what do you say to people like Nick Cruz at RBN? who feels that this kind of candidacy is is a waste of time for the working class who have already been burned twice by the Sanders campaign, who put $100 million into it. What do you say to people like Nick who argue that this is an enormous waste of time for a working class that doesn't have time and money to waste? Well, that, that's an excellent uh, question, Russell. And here's a, an even more excellent answer. Uh, it, I think it was the, the, the philosopher Euripides who once said, uh, and I'm kind of paraphrasing, uh, haters gonna hate. So, uh, I say said, that. you know, some people have crystals and orbs for positivity. Uh, I have crystal and crack. So I don't know where this negativity is coming from. Uh, I, I, we are going to win. We have to, we have to look at it that way. We are going to win. And the, and, and they can, uh, apologize later, uh, once we, uh, at the inaugurate the inaugural ball, if we let them in. I mean, it's unfortunate. There are a lot of nihilists out there. There are a lot of people who feel like we should just sit back and do nothing and not back I, any candidate. I, I used to say negative Nancy. Now I say negative Nick's. Yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly. You know, it's 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 really unfortunate because we have a real chance here to do something. And it just is really it's really heartbreaking that some people are still not on board. You know, people who say you have no chance. I remind them Bernie Sanders started his campaign with a rally of about 15 people on lawn chairs in Vermont. And of course, he went on to. Uh, well, actually, he didn't he didn't win. That's right. But but he went on to do very well. And so I don't see any reason why you will not do as well as Bernie Sanders. You're going to do at least as well as Bernie Sanders because you have everything that he had going for you. Everything he had going for him, you have going for you. So it's really unfortunate that there are some people who are not yet on board, but we hope to bring them around. Now, I do want to ask this question because there is going to be some oppo research dumped on you. As you know, you know, all candidates have certain things that they wish weren't out there, but they are. You did write a controversial essay in the 90s, which you self-published after being rejected by uh, just about every reputable medical journal in the country. And the title of this essay was The Myth of Alcohol Poisoning and the Magical Cleansing Qualities of Grain Liquor. Now, what's your response to those who will dig this up and use it as oppo research against you? I, I stand by what I wrote back in the 90s, which uh, what, what's, what holds then uh, holds today now. And, and uh, please don't get me wrong. Uh, I do love crack. You know, I, I'm, I'm right outside getting ready to get some as soon as this interview is over. But I love alcohol even more. Uh, I, I would uh, 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 it, You know, the idea crack is bad for you. That's that straight old white men wrote those papers. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's all rhetoric. It's propaganda. It yeah. seriously is. Crack is whack. Who came up with that? Propagandist. You're welcome. Yeah. Well, you know, well, I, I, I heard people... Your... Go ahead, I, I heard I heard you're expanding on that paper uh, in order to release the obligatory campaign book because you kind of have to. You have to counter Marianne's book. Don't fuck with me. I'm famous. I don't need that shit. 
coming from Simon and Schuster. I think uh, this summer. Yeah, I think July. Yeah, yeah. July. Yeah, over yeah. the July Fourth weekend. Yeah. That's a good weekend to announce a presidential campaign memoir. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I, I have a book coming out too, as well, uh, and it and it's titled "Don't Smoke My Crack." Uh, and other political musings uh, in the 21st century. See, yeah. that's got a very uh, Will Rogers quality to it. It's yeah. very folksy. Yeah, and you know, everybody yeah. who's going to tear you down over that, I mean, I'd like to know what their response is to, you know, the sexual assault accusations against Joe Biden. Why they didn't? Why did they never bring that up? Right. Or Donald exactly. Trump. Or I mean, I, I brought it up. Throwing the cell phones at Seriously. people, right? I'm just talking about booze. This guy's like sniffing hair and you got like the crystal and orb lady and, and she's nobody talk, yeah, space. Come exactly. On. Exactly. And nobody makes a big deal over that. It's just just incredibly uh, unfair. Okay, now here's the big question. The big question that we all want to know because we were very upset when Bernie sort of ended his campaign prematurely and just handed his endorsement to Joe Biden and sort of took all the energy from his movement and gave it to the Biden campaign. So Russell's going to ask this last question, and it really is the most important question that we feel we need to ask you here just to clear up, just to make sure we can go all in for you. All right. I think you got a little confused about this question because we sent you the questions in advance. And I was asking you about a dirty break. You sent me back a picture of yourself in a dirty Sanchez. Now, that's that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about a dirty break. And I, I hope you understand the difference. That's when you leave the party and you go run on your own. Now, if you want to do a dirty break with a dirty Sanchez, that's that's your business. And I think that would probably benefit your campaign in certain quarters. But the question is, will you do a dirty break on the off chance, the one in a million chance that you don't beat Joe Biden. <sighs> that, another great question, uh, Russell. Uh, and uh, thank you for scripting those uh, that way so that uh, I could uh, give you these compliments because you do deserve them. And speaking of great questions, uh, I ask great questions on my show, Extra Bull, uh, live on Monday nights. We also have the secret show, Midnights, uh, on my Extra Bull channel. Uh, so uh, I encourage everybody to come uh, watch those shows, uh, like, share, and subscribe, you know, and come support us uh, as far as uh, getting the political campaign uh, up and running. I appreciate it. Well, there well, you, you have it, it, folks. You yeah. heard it right there. He is committing to a dirty break. One And a dirty Sanchez. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. We heard it right there. There's no ambiguity about that answer whatsoever. Extra Bola has promised a dirty break from the Democratic Party if he is not successful in the primary. There are going to be, like you said, Extra Bola, haters going to hate, right? There are going to be some people who deny it, some people who nitpick, some people say, well, he didn't actually answer your question directly. He just kind of changed the subject. Nonsense. We all heard it with our own two ears. We asked him very plainly, and he answered very plainly, I commit to a dirty break if I lose the nomination, which means we are happy to uh, once again reaffirm our full endorsement for your 2024 campaign, Mr. President, future president of the and United he, States, Extra he, Bulla. Yeah. And he is committing to a dirty Sanchez at the inaugural ball. Yeah. I yeah. think it's important people yeah. know that because that's definitely going to swing a few votes. Yeah, well, that's one of the kind of things that helps you in a primary but might hurt you in a general with the moderates. Well, he ta he can tack to the center. We're going to have to maybe pivot off of that in the general, but for now, we may as well use it to gin up enthusiasm. <laughs> Mr. President, thank maybe you so just, much for just, joining. Just really pleasure on, to talk. Run on, uh, on teabagging for the general. I will do. And, and before I go, uh, I want I want to say thanks again. And uh, I'm about to go get some crack. You guys want some? I mean, I know you're local, so and I will deliver. Well, uh, Russell's local, but uh, yeah, I, I'm, I might be a, I might be a little bit far north for that. But uh, you and Russell will work that check. out after. Rain yeah, exactly. check. Yeah. We'll, we'll rain check. Right. Yeah, exactly. Rain All check. right. Well, crack, Extra rain. Bola, the next president of the United States. Thank you for joining us. Always a pleasure, sir. Godspeed. Thank you, Mr. President. There we go. The All next right. president of the United States, everybody, extra bulla. You know, you have to be serious, right? You have to be serious. We need a candidate. We need to primary Biden from the left. Very, it's important. We have to. We have to put these yeah. ideas on the stage, and he's the guy who's willing to do it. And so we have to get behind him. It's a no brainer. And they they need to put him on the debate stage because if you announce you're running for president, you have a right to be on that stage. Exactly. Who are they to keep you off of that stage? Ridiculous. That's it. Just That's horrible. It.